you looking for the best things to do in Madrid, Spain, then look no further. This video is going to give you the best things to do in Madrid, Spain and super important Madrid travel tips so you can plan your trip successfully. What's up travelers? Welcome back to my channel. The way this video is going to work is I'm going to go on a walking tour in Madrid to show you the best things to do in Madrid, Spain. While we walk and as we arrive to our travel attractions, I will share the best Madrid travel tips that you need to know. Let's go ahead and get started because we've got lots to talk about today. Our first stop on this Madrid tour is the Seoul train station. Seoul is located in the city center and this is one of the most important train stations in Madrid. It's also a great place to start exploring. First Madrid travel tip is to consider riding the metro. It is definitely one of the cheapest sources of transportation in Madrid outside of your feet. Especially if you know you will be visiting Madrid and you know you will be riding the public transportation system, definitely consider the tourist ticket. This is also known as the tourist travel pass and this will allow you to save money on transportation. The way this tourist ticket works is the passes are valid for one, two, three, four, five, or seven days, and it's also valid for two travel zones. The two zones are Zone A and Zone T. Zone A is more for the city of Madrid, where Zone T covers the entire metro network of Madrid. So make sure you read the fine print and you know where you're trying to go when you buy this tourist ticket. Initially, if you are from the ages of 7 to 26, you qualify for the youth pass rate. This is where you get a 30-day youth season ticket for a rate of 20 euros for all fare zones. You can travel from zone A to E2. This is valid until the date of your 26th birthday. You can save a lot of money on public transportation system with this. So if you are under the age of 26, definitely look into this. If you don't yet have a public transportation card, you can get it in the public transport card management offices, or you can request it through the internet where they will send it to your address between seven to 15 business days. The cost of issuing the card is four euros. As we exit the train station of Seoul, the first stop and one of the best things to do in Madrid, Spain, is we will be visiting La Mallorquina Bakery. Mallorquina Bakery in Madrid is super historic and popular. This is a franchise bakery in Madrid that has been around since 1894, and they serve some of the most delicious pastries in the world. The delicious pastries, cakes, and sweets will literally make your mouth water. Plus, the coffee there has an old world charm that you can't find anywhere else. So if you're looking for a sweet snack or coffee, make sure to stop by Mallorquina in Seoul. This place is always busy because it's just such a hot spot. It's super delicious, highly recommend. exit La Mallorquina Bakery in Seoul of Madrid, we will be going back to Puerta de Sol. This is one of the best things to do in Madrid, Spain, because there's tons of things to do all in this square. If you walk around Puerta de Sol, you will find many Madrid landmarks, street musicians, cafes, and stores. This is a great way to get right into the heart of Madrid culture. Madrid travel tip has to do with the Spanish Christmas lottery. It's a long time tradition where people buy their lottery tickets in advance for the Christmas lottery. They basically get really big prizes. And if you would like to play that, make sure you check out this gray stand that's to the right of the screen that says Loteria y Apuestos del Estado. This is where you could buy Christmas lottery tickets or any lottery tickets if you'd like to play. Definitely check that out. Initially, one of the best things to do in Madrid, Spain, is to go shopping. Seoul and Puerta de Sol is one of the best areas to do that. Here you'll find tons and tons and tons of shops. But one of the best Madrid travel tips I can give you is to make sure you check out the El Corte Inglés. This is one of the biggest department stores in Madrid and in Spain overall. You can find everything from clothes to electronics, and it's a great place if you're looking for some unique souvenirs or gifts to take home. Next Madrid travel tip, make sure to add Calle de Preciados to your Madrid shopping list. This is where you can find tons and tons and tons of shops, as well as Puerta del Sol. Next best thing to do in Madrid, Spain is to explore the monuments in Puerta del Sol. Here you'll find King Charles III of Spain on the horse, like shown right here. You'll also find Kilometer Zero, which is the starting point for all major radial roads in Spain. And then you'll also 
find the Casa de Correos building. This is the current headquarters of the Madrid regional government. And this is where you'll also find the famous clock for New Year's Eve. This is where they count down till 12. And this is where they celebrate in Puerta del Sol. The best things to do in Madrid, Spain is to eat ice cream, especially during the warmer months. Here we have Palazzo. This is a very popular Italian ice cream spot. It's super delicious, always busy. There's several locations, so make sure you check them out if you like ice cream. One of the best things to do in Madrid, Spain is actually free, and that is to walk around and to take in all of the beauty that Madrid has to offer. Madrid is definitely one of the most beautiful European cities that there is, and it's actually free to just enjoy and walk around and take in the aesthetic. Now we are going to go ahead and walk to Plaza Mayor following the street of Calle Mayor, which is full of tons of shops, eateries, and things to do. So let's go ahead and head over there. <laughs> turn this corner we are now turning on to calle mayor you will see this is a very busy street full of things to do things to eat things to check out so make sure you walk through here when you visit madrid because it's definitely full of things to see <music> travel tip has to do with getting a travel friendly bank account when you travel here make sure that you have a bank account that's not going to charge you an arm and a leg if you need to withdraw money and they're not going to charge you conversion fees non-atm fees all that really really not fun jazz as travel friendly bank account that i can recommend to you that checks off all those boxes is charles schwab high yield investor checking account make sure to check them out everybody that i recommend them to loves it so check it out if you need a travel friendly bank account if you have questions drop them in the comments and i'll get back to you
Next, one of the best things to do in Madrid, Spain is to visit Plaza Mayor. Adding on, a great Madrid travel tip is to visit Calle de Felipe III, Madrid, the street that we're on right now, and to take pictures of this arc and to take pictures of this street. It comes out super pretty in pictures and it's a very popular local photo spot. <laughs> Actually, you'll find tons of souvenir stores around this area. It's best to just go in and compare and contrast because all of them have different prices all over Madrid. So it's really just best to go in and see what people's prices are. Now we will be arriving in Plaza Mayor, which is one of the best things to do in Madrid, Spain. Plaza Mayor is one of the biggest squares in Madrid, and it's also one of the oldest parts of Madrid. So this place is very historical. You'll find very important historical monuments, such as the statue of King Philip III, which is in the middle of the plaza. And then you'll also find Arco de Cuchilleros. Arco de Cuchilleros is a historical arcway, and it's also known because it survived many fires. The next Madrid travel tip that's super important about Plaza Mayor is to avoid dining into any of these restaurants. The reason why I say that is because majority of them are tourist traps, the food is overpriced, it's not authentically Spanish, and it's honestly just not that good. The contrary, a very authentic thing to do in Plaza Mayor is to head to Bar La Campaña and get a no frills fried calamari sandwich. This is also known as Bocadillo de Calamar and it's a very simple sandwich where they put bread and squid, and sometimes people put mayo in it, and madrileños love it. This is one of the best places to get the squid sandwich, and if you don't like the way Bar La Campaña does it, definitely head to El Brillante, which is personally my favorite place, but Bar La Campaña is also well-known and is super good too.
time for one of the next best things to do in Madrid, Spain. We're going to head to Calle de la Sal and we're going to go to the store called El Taller de Virginias. It's to our right in the red. And this place is a gourmet grocery store and you can buy classic Spanish souvenirs that your friends and family can try, such as toron, nuts, very delicious things. I specifically go there for turon, which is a Spanish nugget. And it's a very, very popular holiday um, pastry. So check it out if you like sweets. Here's a closer look to what it looks like. And check it out if you're a foodie. Now we are going to turn on to Calle de los Coloreros. And this is a very special street because we are going somewhere very, very, very special in Madrid. As you can see on the left, there are some people enjoying the terrazas. A great Madrid travel tip is to note that a lot of people like to dine outside in Spain. There's tons and tons and tons of terrazas. Doesn't matter if it's winter, spring, raining, you name it. There's covers and there's heaters and it's just very Spanish to enjoy a terraza. So make sure you enjoy a terraza when now, you visit Madrid. Now, for the next best thing to do in Madrid, Spain, it is all about food. We're talking about churros. We're talking about chocolate. And we're talking about going to Chocolateria de San Ginés. This place has had a throne for churros and chocolate since 1894. This is where you go to get churros in Madrid. You can go to other places, but this is definitely the most legendary. And if there's anything else that's important to note, there's two locations, not just one, my friends. So how that basically works is there's one where you dine in, where you could sit and eat it there. And then there's another one for takeaway where you could just go and take it and sit at a park or wherever you fancy. But definitely look into the takeaway option if there's a line because there is almost always a line at this place. And definitely check it out, especially if you like sweets. Another Madrid travel tip is if you do go into the dining area of Chocolateria de San Ginés, make sure you take a note of the pictures. It's super historic. So many people have been there. And the way the waiters dress is also super cute. They have a very special uniform, and I think it's charming. The next best thing to do in Madrid, Spain, is to go to the theater. This one is called Teatro Eslava and is known for concerts as well as other shows. But there's tons of theaters that you can visit throughout Madrid. So depending on your interest, make sure you look into the event calendar in Madrid because there's tons and tons of things to see and do. for one of the next best things to do in Madrid, Spain. We are on to Calle del Arenal. This is a fabulous street for shopping and for things to do. It's super busy and I highly recommend it if you're going to do some shopping in Madrid. The next Madrid travel tip is to try to shop local if you're going to do shopping in Spain or if you're going to do shopping in Madrid. This isn't only referencing brands that are made in Madrid. This is referencing brands that are made in Spain overall. So if you can, try to shop local and try to shop small. I will leave a link in the description box of this video with an article of tons of Spanish brands that you should check out, especially if you're going to do some shopping in Spain.
One of the best things to do in Madrid, Spain is to definitely get souvenirs. And one of the best Madrid travel tips I can give you is to visit Sabor a España. This has so many delicious food goodies that you can give to friends or family as a gift or as a souvenir so they can literally get a taste of Spain. <laughs> Next best thing to do in Madrid, Spain is to try turon. This is typical Spanish nugget. Coming up to the left on the screen will be Vicenz. This is a typical turon store. It's a franchise that's seen all over Madrid. And this is one of the best places to buy turon and to try turon. Own Spanish nugget definitely makes as a great souvenir. So definitely consider Vicenz if you're shopping for anybody. Next best thing to do in Madrid, Spain is to explore the most beautiful barrio in Madrid, which is Opera. In this barrio of Opera, you will find the Teatro Real, Palacio Real, as well as the infamous cathedral. This neighborhood is so beautiful, it doesn't even matter if you're going to visit all these tourist attractions or not. You can definitely just enjoy it with a walk. But if you are into history and into the tourist attractions, you can have all of them really close by and it's super conveniently located. Madrid travel tip, if you like theaters, make sure you check out Teatro Real. They have a bunch of shows and a bunch of different events. So check out their event calendar to see if any of them interest you. to do in Madrid, Spain is to explore this beautiful city. You can do that by scooters, by renting a scooter, or you could also do that by renting a bike. You can rent a bike with private bike shops, or you can do one of the government programs such as BC Mad, and it looks something like this. If you're interested in this, screenshot this right here. travel tip if you need a place to store your luggage while you go out and explore definitely make sure you google and look into travel lockers i will leave some options linked in the description below now for the next best thing to do in madrid spain is to go to zucaru this is one of the best ice cream shops in all of madrid and again it's an italian ice cream spot so delicious it's definitely worth the stop and they also have another location <music>
thing to do in Madrid, Spain is to visit the Royal Palace or also known as the Palacio Real in Spanish. If you create content, I recommend to cross the street and to visit this gate because you can do a lot of really cool photo ideas with this gate, especially if it's during sunset. Check out these people. This is exactly what I mean. Tons of really cool photo ideas can come from this spot. to do in madrid spain is to catch a sunset madrid and spain in general is full of sun and they have the best sunsets in the summer especially because it doesn't get dark until like 10 p.m at night so if you visit during the summer definitely keep that in mind spring sunsets definitely do not disappoint either but i did want to mention that if you want to have a very special unique place to catch the sunset definitely think about sitting on the grass across the street from the palacio real because you can get a really cool view and it's just a different nice perspective Additionally, once you're in this royal palace area, you could definitely rent a tuk-tuk if you're interested in renting one. That's definitely a new thing that's come up in Madrid tourism, but it could be of interest if you're trying to see the city in a new way. thing to do in Madrid, Spain is to visit the Almudena Catedral. This is a very popular Catholic church in Madrid, Spain. It's very beautiful and it's popularly right across from Palacio Real. So most people see both of them when they go see one or the other. And outside of that, and a very important Madrid travel tip is that it is a free entrance, but a donation of one euro is requested. thing to do in madrid spain is to visit the royal palace this is a great thing to do especially if you are curious about spanish royalty it's a great insight into how they live how their house looks and the basic rate to enter the palacio real is 12 euros the reduced rate is six euros travel tip the royal palace actually has one of the best views of sunsets in the summer so definitely come through for a sunset in madrid because you will definitely not be disappointed with the view as i mentioned before if this gets too full you can just sit up up on the grass that's what a lot of people were doing that day because as you'll see in a few minutes it's very packed up front there
travel tip, there's usually a food truck that looks like this outside of Palacio Real. So if you get hungry or thirsty, definitely stop by there. The next best thing to do in Madrid, Spain, is we're going to head over to Plaza de Oriente. This is a plaza that's located right next to Palacio Real, and it's a great place to see a garden and also see the nearby monuments. It's a great view, and it's super pretty, so make sure you go there with your camera if you're going to check it out. now arriving in Plaza Oriente and as you can see there's a beautiful garden and this is just a lovely place to walk. This is not Jardines de Sabatini which we will be going to as well but this is also another garden so it's two separate different things and definitely a place to walk and enjoy the view. There's also tons of little terraces that you'll see coming up to our right where people like to have a drink, have a meal and just chit chat over the terrace and enjoy the view. So as you can see it's a really lively area with tons of ambience.
great Madrid travel tip is to consider a free walking tour. This will help you get to know the city, know what to see, and also learn about the history. This is a great thing to do, and you'll see people with an umbrella basically signaling the meeting point for the tour group. So if you're interested in history, I highly recommend that. There's tons of different tour groups you can choose from. I'll leave some of the links in the description box so you can check that out. And the next best thing to do in Madrid, Spain, is we're going to go to the Jardines de Sabatini. As you can see, this is a very beautiful garden. It's super popular. And majority of people that visit the Palacio Real definitely go for a walk in the garden because you're right there. And it's super pretty, so why not? And I highly recommend it.
next best thing to do in Madrid, Spain, is you're going to go to the Plaza de España that's located right next to the Jardines de Sabatini. They recently renovated this and just released it to the public, so it's brand new. Everything is very modern. It's a lovely place to go for a walk, and it's also right next to Gran Via, so you can easily walk through the plaza, go for a stroll, and then go to Gran Via, and then potentially go to your destination, whether you're going to go shopping or go out to eat or something like that. Time to time, Plaza de España holds events such as like ice skating in the winter for kids. So definitely check out the event calendar in Madrid if you're interested in visiting Plaza de España and want to see if there's anything going on event wise. A great Madrid travel tip, especially if you're traveling with kids, is to make sure you check out the park. There's tons of things to do for kids in Plaza de España, so if you're traveling with family, definitely consider making a stop there. The next best thing to do in Madrid, Spain, is you're going to go to the biggest Zara store in the entire world. This Zara store breaks records, so make sure you check it out if you're into fashion and if you're into Zara stores because it's super, super duper big and there's a lot of cool, interesting things that other stores don't have. So definitely check out the biggest Zara store in the world. You could obviously buy clothes and accessories if you need them for your trip. Next best thing to do in Madrid, Spain, is we're going to walk on one of the busiest and most important streets in all of Madrid. And the name of this street is called Gran Via. Some Madrid travel tips about Gran Via is that it's a very busy street with lots of things to do where you could go shopping, you could go to the theater, you could also go out to eat. You'll also have a lot of nightclubs if you want to go out in Madrid. You can get to Gran Via by taking the metro and you could get there by getting off at the stop Callao, Gran Via, Plaza de España, or Santo Domingo. Additionally, you can also take the bus, and you can take the bus number 202 442 
148 and more next major travel tip has to do with accommodation and it's if you don't want to take public transportation or worry about taking a cab definitely consider staying on gran via there's tons of hotels ranging from budget all the way to luxury so you definitely have a tons of options and this is ideal if you just want to be able to walk and see most of madrid on foot Next Madrid travel tip about Gran Villa is to make sure you check out the other famous city attractions such as Sabella Square, Chueca District, and the Prado Museum.
next best thing to do in Madrid, Spain is to go to Callao. This is a really nice district where there's a bunch of things to do and see. And once you arrive in Callao, you're going to go to El Corte Inglés, which is a really popular Spanish department store. And in this specific El Corte Inglés Callao, there's a really nice rooftop where you have great views of all of Madrid. Let's go and check it out. Next Madrid travel tip is to go ahead to go to the last floor of this El Corte Inglés and that's where you'll find the gourmet store as well as the rooftop. If you are a foodie, definitely check this part of the Spanish department store out because there's tons of things that you can buy here. There's like food, liquor, alcohol, cheeses, a lot of nice interesting food that you can try. Also a food court and a bar so if you get hungry and or want to get a drink you could definitely use this as the perfect stop And a good Madrid travel tip about this terrace and rooftop is try to arrive early if you would like to enjoy a night out here. Something that's pretty cool about this rooftop and terrace is when you arrive at the window, it has outlined the monuments you're looking at. So if you want to know what you're seeing, you can just go to the window and you'll learn a little bit of the monuments. And a great Madrid travel tip is if you want a selfie here, make sure you consider going to this far corner. It's a very popular photo spot for good reason. You have a great view of Gran Via and of Madrid. Next Madrid travel tip is to make sure you consider going food shopping here. It's a really nice place to explore different types of snacks of all different kinds. Specifically right here, these are sweets and dessert-like, but definitely give it a look if you're a foodie and want to check that out. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learning about the best things to do with Madrid, Spain, as well as a ton of Madrid travel tips. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments so I can get back to you and subscribe for more travel content. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.